I got two conch piercings, you guys, okay? I got two conch piercings on my birthday, 15th January. By the way, this is a conch piercing. This. Those bad boys. If you don't agree with my choice, wait for your time. Probably you have your own choice. In this video, I'm going to explain the accessories I used to clean my piercing and the I'm going to explain the pain. I'm going to insert the video on how I got pierced and I'm going to show you what I did during my piercing journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first thing you will need is a neck pillow. This is a neck pillow. You don't want to sleep on your piercing. Even if you wanted to sleep on your piercing, it would be uncomfortable, you wouldn't. So get your neck pillow, sleep like that, and it's going to leave that hole under there. You won't sleep on your piercing. The second thing you're going to need is sea salt or non hydrated salt, table salt any sort you're going to need tea tree oil chisamba valley organic tea tree oil i got the sea salt and the chisamba valley tea tree oil and the table salt as we all know table salt i i all got them from ShopRite. the earbuds you need earbuds i got my earbuds from ShopRite. get the one with 100 buds inside it because it's a it, because it takes a while for your ears to heal and you'll be cleaning your ears all the time 50 buds is not enough so just buy the one with 100 buds in it and get it over with also i would recommend with a tea tree oil that you get two bottles so I'd just get it over with and go to the chemist buy yourself some aspirin i crushed it and put it in here yeah um, so now i'm going to explain how i in my ears and the times i cleaned my ears and what i did when i got a bump because chances are you get a bump it's normal to get a bump so yeah once you get your piercing don't twist don't twist the earring don't twist your piercing leave it let it be don't touch it our hands we're all we're always catching gems we don't know what we're placing our hands so don't touch your, ear, your piercing and if it's itching just let it be don't itch don't scratch your piercing just let, leave it let it be so if someone tells you no after get your piercing make sure you twist it that what don't don't you're going to get a bump don't don't do that so how i cleaned my piercings i got my organic tea tree oil and poured one first of all tea tree oil is very sensitive so don't use it anytime and anyhow and what 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 just I put one drop in front, one drop behind, one drop in front, and one drop behind. Period. And then I let the tea tree oil set in, and then that that way to be easy, it will be easy for the pier, for the earring to move and to twist the earring. The tea tree oil. So I let it set in before I dip my ear my ears in the in the water and salt mix. Yes. So while that tree oil is setting in, get your sea salt or your non hydrated salt or your table salt, put it in a glass or in a mug. No, in a mug. In a mug and warm water and mix the salt and the warm water and put your ear in the mug. Yeah, so that the salt water can get into the piercing. Yeah. So that so that the salt water can get into the piercing. Do it on both sides. Do it for three minutes or five minutes, three minutes or five minutes. Every night before you sleep. Or you can do it whatever time. But this is what I was doing before sleeping. Yeah. And then after that, I would get a serviette. You can use a serviette or cotton wool. And then pat it dry. Make sure it's dry. Don't leave it wet. No, that's, mm -mm, don't do that. So just make sure it's parted. It's parted you put you put your piercings dry and that's it so when you get your piercing bump sleeping on your piercing can cause a piercing bump twisting your piercing 
and just starting touching your ears anyhow can cause a piercing bump when you get your piercing bump this is aspirin the aspirin talked about and then you get this concoction this concoction is made up of salt uh water and uh, uh drops of tea tree oil so get this concoction and mix it with the aspirin and then you get that paste and put it where the bump is if your bump is on top you just get that paste you get that paste with a cotton bud and put that paste on top of your ears or behind and you sleep with it overnight and it's going the bump will be gone overnight or it's going to be gone in like in the next two days but it's going to be gone what the aspirin does is that it absorbs the it absorbs the moist in the bump i think samitiba said that it absorbs the moist in the bump and that bump because that bump is skin the aspirin makes you peel off that skin on that bump which makes the bump go away i hope i hope you're following what i'm saying i'm bad at explaining but i said what i said so yeah you can just use it like one time before you sleep or during the day if you're not going anywhere yes also in the morning how i cleaned my ears i would get this bottle i had the one that i had the bottle that was spraying but i don't know where it is so i'll get that spray and just spray it in front and behind and go about my day or i would get this this same concoction spray it on the earbud and clean my piercing in inside and out and yeah and go about my day also when you're showering taking a bath make sure you clean your ears properly um yeah don't hate yourself yes so anyway i've explained that's how i healed you guys like it took me two months and a week for my piercings to be healed i took the, i got my piercings on 15th january and i healed on 27th march so yeah now for the pain the pain was 10 out of 10 i'm not even going to lie the pain was 10 out of 10 but it was just for that one second or two seconds when the needle was entering that's it afterwards you're just like wait how was i being dramatic about the pain it's nothing but you're yeah, definitely going to feel the pain 10 out of 10 for at least two seconds afterwards it's nothing but yeah i mean i'm handled the pain if you guys want to see the video of me getting pierced here it is and enjoy yourself don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I'm very scared, but. The one side that's always thicker. I don't know. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. You found it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The room, okay, this side was uh, a bit intense. Oh, the jewelry. <laughs> the jewelry is always the worst part. Are you doing the nose? Are you still pretending? No. I'm doing the nose. Come. 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 Thank you. Everybody teaching us that your greatness lies in looking out for the weak. Oh, looking after the weak. The poor, the vulnerable. You can replace your earrings after your piercing has healed. I went back to a real body piercing on 25th March after my, after my piercings were healed to replace my earrings and this is how it went. Mm -hmm. It looks nice. Good. Looks nice. Yeah. This was the vision I had in the ears.
А если я вижу одну? Ну, Олес. Я думаю, что это пришло. Что это? Это пришло. 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 Hi guys, so I changed my sun's area to the area of the